Hello everyone. We are here with the charger today to get this Demon carburetor installed. This carburetor was uh, technically a part of my uh, Indy haul, but uh, I didn't have it with me when I did that video, so it kind of got left out. But um, I've already got it rebuilt. It's all ready to go. So let's set the camera up, get that holly off, and uh, get this on. All right, old carburetor's off. I'm still gonna be hanging on to this one. Uh, this one's gonna be going in my truck because I got a new I got a new cam for it. It's or, or new to me. Uh, it's supposed to be a 44 284 purple shaft cam, uh, similar to what's in here, but uh, I have a comp cams version, and the one going in there is actually a, a purple shaft. And that one, that cam's gonna need a little bit more carburetor than than what I have on there right now, which is a uh, Technically, it's a 600 Edelbrock back on there, but uh, I've had a, a 650 Holly on there. So, not focusing on the truck. I've had a 650 Holly on there. So, uh, uh, when I do do the swap, this is going on there. And this is actually a Barry Grant Demon. This is not a Holly Demon. This is the, this is the Barry Grant Demon. So, um, may have to adjust the. Uh, accelerator pumps a little bit once once i get it on but uh i got the nice uh an line on here so let's get this on get it tightened down and see what it sounds like oh yeah one more thing i got one of these uh three eighths hard line to uh, uh dash six an which is uh, the dash six right here so um never used one of these before but uh I'm going to attempt to use it, see how it does on here, and go from there. Well, the demon is on. Not quite. Although that does look really good. Popping that hood, seeing that demon right there looks really cool. That right there is a problem. I'm gonna have to get a, uh, probably a half inch spacer to put that high enough to uh, clear the intake. Pretty sure I can't uh, grind away that much material on there. I may have to grind away a little bit, but uh, that's gonna be way too much like it is for it to clear, so. Looks like the uh, Demon install is on hold for a couple of days so I can get me some spacers. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe everything's going to clear good. Can't tell. I really hope this is going to clear. If it doesn't, I may have to run a, a thinner uh, air cleaner. To clear to uh, let the demon clear with with a with the spacer because there's not a lot of room under this hood 
Of course, there is always the option of uh, reinstalling the six pack hood, which will give me, should give me the room I need. So there's, so, so there's that. I guess I'll have to decide once I get the uh, spacers in and the carb actually installed, uh, seeing what I can, what I need to do about that. See if this is gonna clear. Well, it looks like the air cleaner does hit, but I'm gonna do some research and uh, see if I can get a thinner air cleaner. And getting a thinner air cleaner will drop the bait will will drop the height down enough. So if I can get one that's about an inch shorter, I should have enough to put a half inch spacer and still clear everything. So. Looks like I need to be hunting for some parts. Uh, hopefully I can find them and get them uh, without a lot of hassle. So I'll see y'all in a few days once I hopefully have the parts I need. All right, I was able to actually piece together uh, a fuel line from some stuff I had. I will be redoing my fuel line because I don't like the way it looks. Uh, this is just to get it plumbed right now. And uh, I forgot I actually had a, uh, a quarter, I think this is a quarter inch, and I had a half inch of carb spacer. I tried the quarter inch first, and everything clears just fine. No more hitting. And there's no fuel in this yet, so it does nothing. Um, got everything plumbed, so forgot about that. I'm gonna get that connected, and then uh, see what happens. All right, here we go. It's got fuel. Let me check for leaks. I know you're supposed to check with it running, but it's had enough fuel coming through and I do have a leak. Pretty sure it's right here. All right, let me uh, see if I can tighten that fitting up and um, tighten these fittings up right here and uh, try to stop these leaks and uh, try again. All right, I have fuel leaks right here. I um, just screwed in this plug right here. It's supposed to be for a gauge. I uh, forgot to put uh, forgot to put sealer on it, and I screwed it in pretty far, thinking it was just going to seal, and it did not seal, and it's leaking right here. So I can't leave it running. I can't tune it with it leaking. So that's going to be it for that right now, and. Uh, uh, I need to get another dash 6T. I'm going to get one that doesn't have the uh, that port right there because I really don't need it on here. And I'm going to get a uh, dash 6 straight to a hose barb and then just run 3 8 hose all, all the way down to my pump. So that and I need to get a uh, about a 1 inch shorter uh, air cleaner element for my unsilenced air cleaner. Um, hopefully I can I'm pretty sure I can find one. I just need I just need to look it up. Uh, I've already got the dimensions, so I all, all, all I gotta do is put in my dimensions, and I'm and I'm and I'm sure I'll find it. So I really hope I can find one so I can still run this unsilenced air cleaner. But I do love the way it looks on this car, and I do and I'm loving the Demon carburetor on here. So this is uh, to be continued until I get more parts. Well, this is Friday evening and I got my parts in. 
So I've already got them on. I've already had the charger running a little bit. Sounds good. Sounds happy. But uh, let's, let's take a look at what I got. I got another, another one of these tees without the, uh, without the uh, uh, fuel pressure gauge port. That I didn't really need it. Uh, I may get another one of these in the future or see if I can get the plug out of the one I have. And my fuel line, I've uh, got one of those uh, uh, Dash 6 uh, push lock things for the uh, fuel. Um, I also picked up something pretty cool. See where I put it. Okay, I got some uh, high temperature um, uh, fuel line protector. I think this uh, uh, works up to 500 degrees. I wanted this protector on here because of where the fuel line rides. It's running through here, going down behind the alternator and ne right next to the alternator. So uh, I wanted some. I wanted a decent prote decent protection against it from uh, rubbing and temperature and all that. So. I got it protected all the way down there almost to the fuel pump so i got it i got that on there i got the uh i may have to adjust the 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 idle screws a little bit because i'm not i'm not really sure uh but uh let's crank it up and let you hear it I have had this charger running for a little bit revving it like that and letting it sit off and then cranking it back up revving it like that again turn it back off revving it like that again and I have not even once experienced that tiny bit of hesitation I did with that Holly carburetor on here now I'm not knocking on that Holly if I had tuned it properly I probably would have gotten rid of that but I've kind of been wanting to try a demon on this car for a while and uh, was finally was uh, able able to get one so rebuilt it and the charger seems to really like it uh, definitely gonna have to go for a drive on this thing but uh, it will not be today because it is uh, we got some bad storms coming through so uh, may have to do that tomorrow after I, um, I may have a, a car show going to tomorrow um, Think about taking the dart if I go, but uh, probably going to take the charger for a dart for a drive charger for a drive after that, and um, going to have to drive it without an air cleaner on it because I don't have one that'll fit at the moment. I have stuff in the works. Um, I put I put out a little short. Some of y'all have probably already seen that. Um, initially, I was thinking that a drop base for this unsilenced air cleaner was not going to work. Um, the bowls are very close to the uh, to the uh, inside edge of the air cleaner base, but they're not touching. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe a drop base will work. I'm not holding my breath, but uh, they're cheap enough that I'm 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 going to go ahead and buy one and just see what happens. And if that doesn't work, then I will be changing the hood and getting another air cleaner for it i've already got one in uh, uh already got one lined up um probably going to be getting that sometime next week uh but uh yeah the um this this is not the end of the video i'm going to be going for a drive in it probably like i said probably tomorrow and um after that well uh that'll be end of the video but hopefully this demon carburetor makes this charger so much happier and gets rid of that tiny bit of hesitation i've had but uh, we'll see. So I'll see y'all and see y'all tomorrow. Well, here we are, ready to drive the charger. I'm gonna crank it up and do one last uh, double check that that I don't have any fuel leaks, and then we're gonna head out. So let's get it started.
well there it is there is the uh demon carburetor install on my charger i am very happy with the way this thing is performing uh probably need to adjust the idle circuits a little bit to, uh the idle mixture the idle screws a little bit uh just just to fine tune it but i am extremely happy with it i'm going to try a drop base for my unsilenced air cleaner to see if that will, will work with this carburetor and if not i'm gonna have to go to the uh, either a chrome a chrome one or with that i've got my eye on that should work or a uh, putting the six pack coat on because this area where it's hitting up here is already cut out of the uh, other hood so it it would clear but there it is the, the uh, Barry Grant Demon on the charger and it's performing very well I am very happy with it so um, next video that I do on the charger you'll be able to see what I did if I changed the hood or if the drop base worked so you'll be able to tell in the next charger video it's um, my what I want to do next with this car is fix this stupid exhaust leak that I am tired of I had the idea today of what I could uh, or yesterday of how I can fix it and should work I don't see why it wouldn't uh, the problem is the flange is too big and won't seal against the factory manifold so and when the exhaust shop did it they put a donut gasket in place so that was a little bit of uh, a little bit of distance on that so my idea is to get a proper i think it's two and a half inch flange weld it to the flange that's incorrect all the way around so it, so it seals put the gasket on bolt it up i do not see any reason why that wouldn't work so that's what i'm going to try and then if that doesn't work i'm going to go from there so um that's my plan on the exhaust next so uh the only thing i really got to get is a two and a half inch flange um a uh, flat flange to uh, go to the uh, manifold and then weld it to it and see what happens well i went ahead and decided in to install my six pack hood um i do like the way it looks and with this hood on i was able to uh have my hood my uh hood locks here uh back functional again and let's take a look at it well, it is on and looking good. Let's take a look at it. With this, with the hole cut in the hood, that hole was for my uh, bug catcher that I had a while back. Um, I have plenty of clearance for that air cleaner and it does not hit anymore. Uh, one thing I do need to get is a shorter stud for the air cleaner so I can act so I can keep my little fancy nut right there. But the uh, underside is dirty, but I need to give the whole car a good bath. Probably going to try to do that next weekend or sometime this week. Um, so I didn't worry about cleaning the underside. And I might just take that off. Because it's some of the fasteners are uh, rotten and it's just, I'll roll it up and put it somewhere. But I got it adjusted good. Clothes is nice. One thing I thought about doing was um, taking the scoop off and actually cutting out the holes right here and putting in some mesh behind there, so it so it's actually uh, so it's actually somewhat functional and taking in uh, cold air. But it's looking good. So there it is. There is my demon install, and I am very happy with the way it turned out. The charger seems to like it very much uh the next test will be go driving down the interstate and uh seeing what happens there but uh there it is if you like the video like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one